And we look at U.S. policy, and we look at U.S. policy from its outset, the annexation of Cuba, the annexation of the Philippines, the annexation of Puerto Rico. All those are part of, of U.S. expansionism, as it was before then, the annexation of lands that were part of Mexico. The history, the whole history of this country is one of annexation, you know, and it's also one of violence to the point. To the point. So where do we deal with that, that violence? I think Dr. King understood that, that violence when he talked about militarism and he talked about racism and he talked about materialism, you know. Others, other great men and women understood that violence. That we be the boys understood that violence from the point is the from souls of black folks from the beginning at the beginning of the twentieth century. And on his on his on his fiftieth anniversary wrote it, it did not correct his analysis, but added to his analysis when he said and I said verbatim, verbatim I'm not just just uh, not verbatim, but he said he said that what, what I still believe that the issue of the twentieth century is the issue of color. But at, at the same time, and I'm paraphrasing, at the same time, I believe there's something else that I probably didn't understand, is that people, the, the few are willing to allow, to, in order to maintain their privilege, to allow those, the majority of people, to look in ignorance and, and poverty, etc. And the way in which they do that is through war. And invariably, the issue of the people that, that who are the victims of that 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 policy of people of color. As we look at every single war beyond World War II, it's been against people of color. You know, every single war that's occurred, every single invention has been against people of color. You know, 